Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Gemini. Hey Gemini! I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with your individual energy. Guys, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Like, share, subscribe, please. We're going to get right into it because this is your individual read. I'm just going to pull cards and see what comes out. I'm going to pull these first, right? Give me, ooh, first off, tell me what, uh, just give me a couple of cards for Gemini. Judge, I just want to pull whatever comes out here. I'm going to pull from different decks, okay? A great future for you. Don't be disappointed. So you guys could be feeling disappointed in something. There's something, a future that is going to be bright and it's coming up for you. Some of you guys could be feeling disappointed right now, right? Or something could happen or could have happened that disappointed you, something like that. But you guys are being advised that things are going to change in the future for you. Heartaches and troubles before real success. That's been coming up for pretty much all the signs. It's just a reminder that these things are going to happen before you um, hit your breakthrough, pretty much. Before you cross to the other side of whatever the situation is. We also have here, you have big ideas which you must carry out. So some of you guys have these ideas. Right? This could be entrepreneurship. This could be ideas about how you can improve your situation. How can I make my situation better? There's some ideas here. There's something that's really good and you guys need to carry it out. For some of you guys, you just need to carry it out because you're being advised to carry it out. Wherever that comes from, from within you, right? You will be very popular. Take advantage. All right, so we have that coming up for you. These cards are very... Let's get more. Just give me one more. We also have here, you are going to be happier than you dare to hope. Okay, so you guys have this happiness coming in. A woman will soon invite you to her home. It's going to bring you some good luck. Success in business is in store for you. Some of you guys have some new business projects that might be coming out or something like that. Or some of you guys have been in business and you need to know that the success is coming. Don't give up. You have a few trustworthy friends. And one unexpected enemy. I do see that in here. It does come up that you guys need to be, uh, or I feel like you guys are really surveying your situations and you're seeing who's who. I think there's a lot of realization that comes into these reads, right? I'm feeling like everybody is, uh, their epiphanies, their realizations, their, uh, you know, finally I'm going to admit some things to myself that I saw all along and I was just didn't want to address it or didn't want to acknowledge it or I didn't want to believe that this person would ever dare to da 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 interesting be careful and avoid a loss let me see if i can make this come in without yeah be careful and avoid a loss the cards are also saying one of whom you will be suspicious will prove true so you guys are probably looking at somebody with a side eye and that's the person who's going to be there for you and show up unexpectedly like show up like i'm gonna show up for you like you i didn't think you would show up for me there's somebody out there that you're looking at them crazy and they're they're genuine so you guys want to uh, you know examine who you have around you good news is coming within a week or so so if you guys have been waiting for something it looks like some news is coming in but also beware of a dark presence now some of you guys again uh, uh these cards here keep referencing this presence around you right somebody who's not being genuine about who they are i think you guys might know who this person is or have an idea if this situation this person who you guys had uh i don't want to say all your faith in i think you put them in charge of some stuff and I feel like they may have let you down or whatever happened here. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is a I'm I'm starting to look now type of thing. That's the type of energy. I feel like this is a I feel like this is a revelation for some of you guys. One more. All right. Hasty news. All right. Some hasty news could be coming in. You have a very sympathetic nature. Okay, Gemini. Let's see what else. You will receive an offer regarding money matters. You guys are going to have some offers coming in having to do with finances. And you will soon go on a long trip. So expect some trips coming up. Depends on what it is you do for a living. Some of you guys could be traveling for work. Uh, this could be a project for you guys or whatever this means. There's going to be some kind of travel. There's good news coming in. And it looks like there's an improvement in finances or something like that. Um, let me see what else I want to pull for you guys. Let me see. I'll get into these in a second. I just want to make sure I pull. Give me a couple of cards, please. I feel like I'm going to pull these at the end. I feel like these are more advice cards. So we'll leave it there. Let's go ahead and get into your read with the King of Wands here. I feel like some of you guys here, 
have learned from some past mistakes, Gemini. I feel like some mistakes may have been uh, made, right? Some of you guys may have had some kind of blocks in something. Maybe you made a creative decision that wasn't great and perhaps it hindered your progress or didn't have the result that you wanted it to have or something like that. This could also be about love. This could just be about experiences from the past for you guys. I feel like you guys are learning from past mistakes. And I feel like these things that you learn, you carry over into what you want your future to be. So this is about making better choices. Now, for some of you guys, this card is also about you understanding yourself a little bit better. Like, I understand all these things about myself. And I feel like uh, this understanding that you have about yourself enables you to bring some skills from yesteryears and helps you apply them to a situation. So again, it all really means the same thing. But the cards are saying here that you did gain these skills. The cards are saying here that you do have a better understanding of yourself, but the cards are also saying that you want to commit to what it is you love now that you have made some kind of decision, made some kind of stance. You're ready to learn. Like, I'm ready to face these things. I'm ready for these things not to happen again. So the cards are saying whatever it is you do, you want to do it with passion. We also have here the High Priestess for you. Just want to make sure you see these guys. We have the High Priestess card. Now, the High Priestess did come out reversed here. Some of you guys could be putting too much trust in other people. And that's what I was trying to tell you over here when these cards came out. I feel like you have give a great deal of responsibility to somebody. And I don't know. I don't know. I feel like your intuition is trying to tell you something about this person who you have in charge of all of this stuff. Or, or they have access to all this stuff. Your intuition keeps bothering you. It keeps poking at you, Gemini. And I feel like for some of you guys, it took you a while to get into this. Um, finally acknowledging that there could be something shady with this person or something like that. Now, the cards are saying here that being that you have these suspicions, it is very, very important that you connect with the divine to make sure that your gut is telling you what's right. So, yes, you follow your gut. But then you also seek the divine about it. That's what the cards are saying. And then you make your move. But there's something here that caused you to look at this person a, 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 some kind of weird way. Now, the cards are saying that you have been ignoring your intuition when it comes to this person. We also see that something can be fixed. But the cards with the judgment card. And let me make sure you can see it. We have judgment. This is the realization that I was talking about. There's a realization, right? There's something that you start to understand about yourself and others. You start to understand a dynamic of how you behave with this, these others, things that you might ignore with this person that is in charge of something like that. All right. There's something that you're being advised. You want to, your guts tell you something. And so whatever your guts tell you to do, you need to go in there and, and probe a little bit and see what is this about. Right. So I see that you guys are being liberated by some decision that you're going to make. All right. I feel like for you guys, you are starting to see that there's something here where you need to get more involved with the situation to see what it really is. I feel like for some of you guys, this is about you accepting certain things about people. Like I accept that this is who you are, but it doesn't necessarily benefit me or it um, or you don't seem genuine. It's something like that. There's something that's sparking you guys to look into somebody. I'll tell you that. But the cards are saying here, this is also something where you could be feeling like, hey. I don't necessarily want to change. Like, I see what needs to be changed here, but I also see what could be changed in myself, but the realization is I'm not going to change. The realization is this is really who you are. So however that goes for you guys, right? I also want to say for some of you guys, I feel like this is tugging at you because the situation needs to change, situation needs to be addressed, and you guys, maybe you haven't addressed it, but there's something where you guys are unwilling to change, but I feel like you've been poked enough where now you have to. The cards are also saying here with the two of pentacles, you guys have a lot on your shoulders here. I'm showing that you guys may have taken on too much, right? And the cards are saying it's also impossible for you guys to keep things going by yourself. So this is like an operation. This is like where we need people. So for some of you guys, like I said before, this it looks like this is speaking to two different people here. All right? I don't necessarily find this a romantic read. I find this more of... Something that has been hindering your thoughts, your mind. These are major arcana cards, right? So these are major life changes. These are things that are major to the situation. It's going to change everything. So you guys need to understand the importance of it. What could possibly change is 
you guys have this gut feeling about a person, but there's another person here that you haven't given a chance to, whether it be business level, whatever. You didn't give this other person a chance. This other person is the one that's actually going to ride for you. Just saying. All right. Whatever that means to you. All right. Now, let's see what else we have here for you guys. Not paying attention to what your gut is telling you. Let's see what's going on in love. Let's see. Which one's that? I'm going to use these. Oh, I'll use these. Let's see what's going on in love. What is going on in love for Gemini, please? Let me put that around there. What's going on in love for Gemini, please? What's going on in love for Gemini? Show me love for Gemini. What's going on? Spoiled. Mm, okay, spoiled did come up. Reverse, some of you guys could feel um, neglected because the cards do say there's something about neglect here, right? Something about these feelings of neglect, neglecting yourself, spoiled. Some of you guys are neglecting yourselves. Also, the wandering aisle. Oh, the wandering eye. Now, let's see if this is your energy, the wandering, a spoiled, the wandering eye. Give me one. Let's see what this is about. Spoiled, wandering eye. Hold on. The silent treatment. Uh, Gemini, did you catch, uh, did your partner catch you looking at somebody else or was your partner looking at somebody else? Silent treatment because it looks like they're a little upset with you. Rest required. Now, somebody might want to step away because they might feel, you know, borderline disrespected. Somebody could be taken. I'm not spoiling you anymore. You're going to learn this lesson. The one you want to, you want to wander eyes. You want to have wandering eyes. I'm not going to speak to you and I'm going to take a rest from you. So some of you guys could be suffering. <laughs> from punishment because you did something bad or this could be your person whatever this is i'm asking what your love situation is is saying that the pursuit give me one more for the pursuits twin flame oh gosh all right spoiled wandering eye silent treatment rest required the pursuit mm. i don't know i feel like some i'm not sure if you guys are going back to vulnerability reversed I just think these are your feelings about the relationship. I think you guys have a serious connection with this person. I feel like somebody let you down, disappointed you. I mean, this whole read could be about love too. Some of you guys could be dealing with the wrong person. The person that you're trusting, you might have to turn around and walk away from because they kind of disrespected you by looking at other people in front of you or whatever was going on. There's something here with love. I feel like somebody's taking something away. Twin flame. Give me, hold on. Let me see something. Let me put these here. Let me see something. Show me, please. Show me what's this about this spoiled and silent treatment. Show me about the silent treatment. Uh-oh, hold on. Okay, it's really funny because karmic relationship came up. <laughs> it showed it didn't. What is um what's this about? What's this card? Twin flame. Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shock, and attack. Okay, so something may have happened in your relationship that you you didn't expect. Give me more, please. I'm trying to see whose who's fault this is. Meeting and conversing. Uh -huh. Meeting can, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. All right, this could be involved. This could be a friend, or it could be somebody new that comes into the picture, and this could be the cause of the heartbreak. This uh, this coffee cup where somebody went out with somebody. Wandering eye. Give me more. You guys could have been at coffee when it happened. The clock, clock card. Need time takes time. Cycles. I feel like you guys might be separated from a person right now. Or you guys could not be communicating with somebody because of something that they did. That could have been considered disrespectful in this union. Or whatever that's about. Let me see what other messages come out for you. I wanted to actually pull these for you guys. But... These are angels and ancestors. Let's see what comes up. Give me messages, please. Messages for Gemini. What else does Gemini need to know? Ooh, okay, hang on. I am going to actually, I'm going to go back and pull what's hidden. Ooh, sorry about that. I'm going to go back and actually pull what's hidden and see what your partner has to say or this person that you guys are dealing with or whatever. Give me a message, please, for Gemini. A couple of messages. Came out reversed. 
embrace the energy of peace all right some of you guys are probably in a chaotic situation right now or this chaos is playing out in your heads maybe you're not verbalizing it but there's some chaos there um some of you guys are needing the energy of peace i feel like some of you guys were peaceful and your world got turned upside down with something high priest it's really funny because high priest comes out twice in this read intend and create some of you guys are being advised to be intentional and you guys are being advised to create i feel like there could have been some blocks but you guys are being advised to move forward with creating the high priestess comes out twice um i feel like i don't know there's something here about secrets also secrets again this talks about your intuition a stargazer set your sights higher some of you guys need to uh, really think about while you're separated from this situation do you want to go back transform and unveil your gifts i think you guys are being advised to really focus on yourselves if you've been through some kind of heartbreak i think it's now time for you guys to focus on yourselves there's something here about life purpose and you finding out what your purpose is all right let's see what else we have i'm gonna pull a couple of these a couple of these Give me messages, please, for Gemini. Give me messages for Gemini. Oh, look at my board. It's somewhat. And I spoke too fast. Let me shut up. All right. Give me more for Gemini, please. Messages for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Oh, all right. I'm going to take it. I'm both too fell. I'm going to take them. I'm going to take them in the order in which the first one came up. Achievement. There's something about an achievement. Hold on. Achievement. Enjoy the limelight. You've earned it. Although, on the family front, someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights. You guys could be worried about somebody's health. So you guys could be worried about your own health. Give me more. Wisdom. Oh, well, this was the other one that came up. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. You guys are being advised that... Uh, you want to seek wisdom with folks who know what they're talking about. Somebody with some skin in the game. That's some, you know, you know what I mean. Give me one more, please. Jim and I. Society. Say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result. I feel like you guys have some deals coming in, offers or something like that. This could be job related, project related, whatever. One more. Travel, yep, travel keeps coming up for you guys. Long distance communication will open up your life. Exciting experiences for singles and career advancements for others. So this reading does reference a lot of single and what's going to happen. You guys are going to meet people, travel, right? But it also does say that there's some sort of separation from somebody that you guys were dealing with. The cards also reference these people. There's one here uh, that you got all your trust in and you, they got the keys to the this and the code to the that. And you feel some type of way about them. There's something about that person that just ain't. Hmm. Do I have any cards in here? Let's see. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to see if I have any cards. I'm sure I do. Um, Alright, I'll take this. You know what? I want to see if this is love related. Show me this person who's untrustworthy, please. Okay, so this person who ends up uh, actually being untrustworthy for you guys, uh, this person, I don't know who this is, they come across as hardworking. I believe they come across as hardworking. It's something where you have some concerns about them, though. All right, whatever this is about. So this talks about patience. I feel like some of you guys may have been waiting for something from this person. I feel like whatever results, like, there's something that sparks you not trusting this person when it comes to something. I don't know if they don't, they're too slow. They might be new at something that they do. This, I feel like somebody could be really not knowing what they're doing. And I think you're starting to see that. It keeps coming up because this is affecting your money. With the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles reversed. I feel like some of you guys might have somebody rubbing something. And maybe they're new to it. Maybe they don't know what they're doing. Uh, Ten of Pentacles, look at that, all reversed. Reversed. So I don't know. I feel like this intuition, this thing that you guys are, there's somebody, something having to do with money. They're going to end up costing you money. Okay. And you know, I don't always pull out the tarot, right? I usually just, but isn't that just funny how all that, it's all pinnacles. So you guys have this concern. I will look at it. 
Is there anything else I need to tell you guys? Uh, yeah, I do want to get a message from this person. So I feel like this person over here could be, I feel like this is work related or something like that. Now we're going to take a look at love. Give me love. Give me a message from the love interest so we can kind of cover if this is, if this is finances for you, we covered that. If this is love, we're going to see what your person has to say. What's up with this person? What's this person hiding? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you, whatever that's about. Uh, and it is reversed. Give me more, please. You and I were too young. We will be together again. Well, this person is still showing some sort of hope and hoping that you guys will be together. They're saying that, that somebody might want to reconnect with you. Spoiled. I feel like somebody may have been young and ran all over the place and maybe they're trying to repair the relationship. Whatever that's about. Um, oh, did I say who's was? No, I guess I didn't, right? And the cards fall. Give me a sec, guys. So, I'm just moving these cards. Oh, my guys. All right. So, in the read here, we have uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I don't remember if I said it. So, we also have Pisces here. I see Scorpio here. And I also see um, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So, you could be dealing with any one of these energies or whatever. Um, it's really funny because in this last set where I pulled tarot, where I pull tarot, it tells me that, again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, I'm sorry, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. So, whatever that's about. Something, somebody's going to have some sort of impact on your money. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. All right. I love you guys. Bye.